What's up guys? This is my first little, not tutorial, but like demonstration on how Pokemon White works with the computer. So, um, you download this emulator called Desmame, D-E-S-M-U-M-E -E 0.9.7 x86. I repeat, D-E-S-M-U-M-E -E 0.9.7 x86. And, um, there aren't like defin definitive ROM versions of Pokemon White, but I found like I found it on this one website while I was browsing for the the ROM, and uh, I found the correct version because some versions don't give you XP, and some versions don't let you. I don't know, you like it's ja half Japanese, it's, uh, but whatever. And uh, here here is the demonstration. I'll show you. And what I do is I just do open ROM. And then it's already directed to my ROMs folder, which is in my emulator. And I will put it in the description how to get this up and running. Everything, the emulator, the game. And um, here, I'll just show you. I'll just show you how it works. It works at really, really good speed. This emulator is great. Great, great new emulator. But, <laughs> please subscribe, guys. Um, I'm trying to, you know, maybe do something with YouTube. If you guys can support me, that'd be amazing completely completely amazing I'll be sure to give you more content but yeah I don't see I save it I save it both ways but I usually load my state by doing load state because it's so much faster and more efficient to do it you can save and load states instead of just saving the regular way which is a really good upside to the emulator but there is a downside you cannot do internet battles it's, it sucks like you can't trade your Pokemon to evolve them nothing with the internet because I don't know, I guess it has something to do with the... Yeah, I don't I have no idea. You, you just can't trade or link with others. But uh, the good thing is that it does not usually lag unless I'm recording the screen. It lags only during double or triple bu triple battles. And here, I'll just show you a battle if I come across one. This guy. Alright, I'll battle this nerd. <laughs> See, it's lagging right now. I have no idea why, but... That's only because I'm recording. It's probably more programs are loaded up. It's just all right. Well, I'm challenged by scientist William, and he sent out a deerling, which is not on my Pokemon yet. And that looks like Bambi. Freaking Bambi. Kakan Contagious coming out. And this is the final version of Taypig, the third evolution. Sorry for the screaming downstairs. A little too much ruckus. A little fight down there. But um. This is my Embor, that's what it's called. And I'll just use Flame Charge to finish it off if it does. But it used X Defend, let's see. Alright, that's Flame. I'll hit it with um, an Arm Thrust, y'all. Bam! That goes down. Deerling Faint, Sand Eating. Alright, thanks, man. Well, yeah, okay, so I'm not going to do any spoilers, but this is directly after the fifth badge. I just got HM Opa, HMO2, which is fly. I think it's HMO2, don't get me wrong. Sorry if I don't know, but um, I just forgot which one it was. But yeah, these are my Pokemon right now. I'm sorry for the little lag. This is my mule. I'm never going to use him. This I'm training. Level 29 it evolves the first time, then 40 it evolves again. This, I'm kind of upset. I did involve it from the first form, which is Tibur, to Girder, but I need a trade in, in order to get to the third form, which is quite upsetting. And Tranquil, I just taught Fly to. Right here, Fly. You can use your mouse, just as a stylus. And yeah, I just taught Fly, and that's kind of it, you know? There's really nothing else. I don't save the old-fashioned way. I so I save by doing this. It's much more efficient. Save state, and then I just I just overwrite it every time. And that's pretty much it, you know. Yeah, I'm just gonna end this. Yeah. Well, thank you for watching, guys. Uh, hope you subscribe and enjoy. See ya.